Hello everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd uh, show you what I've been working on over the weekend. Now I did get uh, two things released, so yeah, I was a little busy with that too. It didn't take super long. On the second release, I used a custom creative creative scenario by Ascarly, uh, which has some different planet types, which I thought was really cool and uh, fitting for what I was trying to portray with the uh, the the Tyke uh, Miner. Um, so that is out on the workshop, and so is this defense tower over here. Now, what I've been doing here is I've been uh, I kind of just about finished this this uh, unusual miner up um, so I've uh, textured it and detailed it I might uh, probably give it one more pass yet um, I rebuilt the cab area of it so it is larger and then inside here uh, it's got a clone chamber um, bed bay two things I didn't have in before uh, same storage and ammo so 32k store or uh, harvest storage and 5,000 ammo storage I reduced the constructors by one but here's something else I did and this was from the comments as someone was asking if they could uh, if this could be upgraded to a tier 4 and I'm like well you know what now that I got a bigger cab um, yes so what I did is I set this up right now so it's got two tier blocks down on the floor over here um, and then I put in two more locations up here for tier blocks now right now I got this upgraded to tier four and I think I actually got a shield on as well um, I guess the shields not on oh I'm using CV, uh, CV blocks with this but basically it's going to come as a tier three and we'll have the blocks uh, mounted in the floor over here and then there's gonna be uh, two I can still remove these, right? Yeah. Um, so up here, oh, I must have got rid of the decals there. Uh, so you'll have two more tier blocks up over here. Um, and then a location to add a shield and a tax tank over here. So, yes, uh, this one will be a tier 3, but can be upgraded to a tier 4 if you want to have a shield. Now, another thing, when I uh, made the cab bigger, I added two more turrets to it. Um, I also gave it enough generator stock to handle the shield um, while operating. So you don't have to put in any more power generators. And I actually snuck a couple power generators down in some weird locations over here. But I thought it was really cool seeing the spinny thing through the, uh, through the hall there, a little lighty spinny thing. Um, and there's another generator that's uh, embedded back behind here, I believe. Yeah, like down in down in this section I've got some oxygen out in here too um, so I think this thing is oh ran out of power so this thing is all ready to go so um, I was messing around with something and, and one thing kind of led to another and I didn't really mean to start building a POI for the scar but I sort of did um, it started out as I was gonna make some kind of base and then I got sort of half sidetracked and inspired while working on it. And this is what I've got so far. Uh, it's not textured. I just uh, mass filled it with texturing. It is a uh, very, very weird, chaotic building. Um, just uh, a lot of wacky block work. It's going to be completely asymmetrical. Um, so I'm just kind of working my way around from one side to the other right now <clears throat> and the idea of what this thing is supposed to be is some kind of uh, probably power processing plant um, that was under construction and then it was taken over by the scar um, and then uh, used as their uh, citadel more or less like their uh, their castle um, so that's the idea. It's, it doesn't have any interior yet. I'm just kind of working on the frame. Um, what I've got going on over on this one side here is this would be, um, when you're constructing a, usually a tall building, a lot of times it will put on a crane on the side, uh, to, you know, that bolts right to the building so they can lift stuff from the ground all the way up and keep on working on it. Um, I don't have the crane part of this done, but this is kind of the shaft for it right now. Um, 
and that's kind of um, yeah anyway it's uh, completely bizarre I'm totally into it though um, it's the the block work and everything on this is just it's different um, it's very very chaotic it's constantly changing from one area to the other there's some repetitiveness in some places like over here but then it changes up on the top part and then it's different down below some and then all this is total chaos and I'm using some damage blocks as well I'll add more into it um, and replace some of the blocks that are here with uh, some damaged ones as well now this is built out of uh, armored concrete primarily except for the damage blocks which are just standard concrete um, and uh, this one obviously make a player base uh, a very good player base so it's going to end up being a POI and I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like when it's fully complete this other side that I have to get to yet is going to be I mean a lot different than the other it's not going to be symmetrical so it's going to be all different stuff and the layout and everything about it's going to be just just bizarre um, but yeah it's going to be like a big POI factory so that's that's the idea of this one um, We'll work on it here and there. This this kind of stuff though is so fun though. I mean, um, although when I get around to texturing it, it's not going to be so fun for a while. And then of course doing the interior up on it too, it's going to have fair fair amount of interior space. I would imagine. I'm going to try to make it so it doesn't have that big of an interior, but uh, we'll see how the other side comes out and what I decide to do. And I'm not even sure yet. It's basically it's kind of like a uh, I'm doing the build a little bit differently where I'm just kind of like I started like on the front here and I just started like working around on a layer and then I was like hey let's make it taller and then I was like hey let's make it taller again and I kept on doing that and I'm building it up but I'm also um, it's getting smaller as it goes up taller I don't know how much taller it will be than what it is it might not be that much taller um, I don't know and uh, the other side, uh, I, one thing I kind of wanted to do, and I had this loose idea, and I'm not sure if I can pull it off with the blocks or not, is I kind of wanted to keep some space inside, like open air, so there's not a roof on it, and then have it surrounded by almost like a shanty town. If um, you know, think like something like fallout you know um or the fallout games where they have like these uh shanty town kind of things um but i wanted to have like the main structure and then have it like kind of surrounded where people were moving in and and making their own little places inside of it and more and more people moved in so you had this whole like little shanty housing community kind of built into the thing and that's kind of uh an idea i wanted as well um not sure what I'm doing with the top yet. I don't really want to have a landing pad up there. I think it's, I'm going to try to make it look industrial, like there's some massive something that runs through the building and goes into the ground. Maybe it's a geothermal plant or, or something on those idea or, or on that line of idea. Jeez, words. Words suck. Um, so that's that's where I'm at on that. Now um, another thing too, um, I have not played around with the um, uh, new signal logic ideas, um, and there was a point brought up to where if I inverted a signal, where it might be up to work because when you're um, to turn on the thrusters, if it basically if it sees the player in the area, the thrusters are off, and when it doesn't see the player in the area the thrusters go on but that's that's got a side problem where if you leave your ship then the thrusters turn on um, because when you get in the cockpit uh, it, the sensor won't see you so therefore it, you know in the inverted effect would would turn on the thrusters but if you're somewhere else um, then also it would turn on the thruster. So I was thinking about that. I just kind of, before I really wanted to dive into it, I wanted to just kind of think about how, how it would work and how I'd want to set that up. 
Um, so it would almost need like another switch in it for the thrusters uh, to say if they were on and you're not in the pilot seat or not visible in the area where the sensor is, then they would actually be off. But uh, I don't know. It's it's weird. It's weird. Um, and yes, um, and thanks for the very helpful information on the uh, the TX Logic. I understand that now. There are some parts that you can set a signal to. Unfortunately, a cockpit is not one of them. Um, but you can to landing gear, and that's how I, I understand how that works now. So essentially, if I if the landing gear come down, you can have a signal set to that to have it do whatever you want. Um, whether it retracted the turret or turned on some lights, or turned off some lights, or wh wh whatever you want it to do, really. Um, so that's something I'm thinking about. Now, on why I'm looking at this one here is um, I'm going to scrap the idea of this one being a miner. Um, I'm probably going to remove a lot of storage from it and replace um, these mining drills with, in fact, uh, weapons. And I think the idea of this one is it's going to be kind of a uh, mid, mid tier, probably a tier three ish. I'm thinking um, SV kind of attack ship uh, instead of a, being a miner. I will uh, go back to the drawing boards on a miner SV. Um, I don't like the other one I've got over here either because I just don't like it really. Um, but. It works, and it's got a lot of storage and all that fun stuff, but I uh, I got a better idea on the drill spacing and how I want to do the drill layout, and I'll have to uh, create a craft that can handle that, and so the drills are in the right spot, and it looks right, and everything about it looks right. Um, they can't be this far apart, though. That's, that's the problem I've got with this one, and to fix that, I'm not sure. But, of course, when I uh, if I uh, switch this over to a fighter... Um, I'm going to do some more body mods to it and try to uh, enhance the a bit of the TIE Fighter look. Right now it kind of looks uh, pretty bulgy, I would say, kind of like a fat TIE Fighter. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to unbulge it a little bit and do a little bit more with these side things too. So that's kind of the idea on that one. Um, so I'm kind of sitting in a, in a place where I've got a lot of things. Uh, I'm always working on a lot of stuff, but I've got like the next couple of weeks uh, releases already done. So um, I can kind of screw around and that's kind of what I'm doing over here. Um, but yeah, uh, Creel stuff too. I do got to get, get to that other uh, Creel POI and I probably ought to do that before really getting heavy into this. But building the bodies and the, and the stuff on these is one of, one of the most enjoyable parts of the game for me. So like just putting these blocks together and seeing what you can come up with um, and especially if you like it and then you get motivated then you want to keep on working on it um, and texturing obviously is completely monotonous but it is very rewarding um, because I mean what this looks like now versus what it's going to look like when it's all textured up and has some texture lights and all kinds of other stuff going on it and probably some more uh, deco blocks and other things and I don't know, I'm kind of excited. I think this could be a pretty neat looking thing that I can't say I've seen anything really like it um, in Imperium yet. It's different. It's very factory industrial though, and that's and that fits well with the uh, the scar as well. They 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 go for that crude uh, style and. Um, they're heavily like Star Wars influenced and, you know, obviously, uh, from Firefly, the Reavers and Mad Max and a little bit of Fallout. And it's just that whole genre of, you know, these desert wastelanders and, and salvage and stuff they've come across. And so some of their vehicles can look like way different, um, simply because they were just like captured, you know, or, or some salvage wreck that they decided to make work again um so i'm not really bound to like having one particular style like the like the creel is um so although i am coloring and texturing them all the same with the same kind of texture lights and everything like that so they have that that uniformity but they're completely different shapes and designs and and it's really anything goes so that's that's 
that's what's fun about them. It's um, very open. Um, can think of bazillions of ideas to constantly build for something like that. That's just anything kind of goes, including like this craziness, whatever it is here. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much all I had for today. Um, and I'll uh, keep uh, messing with stuff. Hopefully by the next video I'll have uh, something done with this one as well. And then uh, Creel, that, that uh, fifth Creel POI, I really need to get that um, being worked on. And, uh, God, what else did I have going on that was in the back burner? I'm sure something. Oh, Creel Space Station, too, yes. Creel Space Station. And, oh, another idea, uh, something I've put off for a very, very long time, is I've got a blueprint, um, and it's weird. And I'm not sure how this works in the game but i'm told it does and i'm told it can work for different things um let me see if i can find it real quick i'm not even sure what to look for uh but there was a meteor or an asteroid i should say that was uh, i grabbed a long time ago and it's not you know of regular blocks it's of like terrain blocks Maybe I shouldn't be trying to show this right now. Um, man, I cannot think of the name of it. And was it is it listed under base? I'm not sure. I'll I'll uh, look look for that on the next video. But basically, it's uh, it's an asteroid out there that you can like. I could actually use terrain tools <clears throat> and mess with it and um, build a POI like in round on the asteroid through the asteroid um and that 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 could make for something really fun too um a uh, poi asteroid base um although i don't think it would be illegal to be a player base i think it would have to be a poi um due to how it was uh how it would be done and i think we've seen something like this in one one of excalibur's videos too i remember uh, someone made uh, asteroid that was flying around and stuff like that um, it was really cool of course I always worry you know if you put something that out to the uh, like that out to the public it would uh, be an illegal build I try to avoid that um, so in this case I think I would want to do a POI version of it this is just more of a long-term plan um, I've got a uh, more scar stuff to do um, and oh yeah, the one last thing I don't think I have it here, but the uh, the other SV, the butterfly-looking one, I have not touched that one yet either. Um, I'm gonna rework that one quite a bit, I think, to some extent, um, and uh, see what I can do with it, and see if I can make that into something halfway decent. Um, so anyway, yeah, lots more stuff is coming. Um, and a lot, a lot more is being worked on, but I think once I get this POI done, I think that's when I'm going to upload a SCAR presentation to the devs on their sites and uh, pitch the idea of adding in the faction. I, I, I wanted to have a POI, though, um, something that they could go in and support everything else, kind of like with the Creel. The Creel also has some POIs and stuff like that, too, and, and uh, I think... You really need a lot of POIs and stuff for the game um, because the enormity of it and the bazillions of planets. And I mean, you could have literally 50,000 different POIs, and you could. I'm just saying, you could. I mean, uh, there's so many things to do. Of course, you know, uh, how much POI action would you need if you already got everything in the game and, and stuff? Well, that's. And that's where it comes, where you just keep on adding more to the game. So there's always more to do. There's always more to get. Um, and I think a lot could be done with the loot in that regard, too. I keep on thinking of a loose idea myself of what would happen if uh, parts could be modded. Uh, essentially, like, say you had a thruster for uh, SV or whatever, and it's got a mod slot in it. Um, and it work, would work a lot like your uh, your suit, you know, where you can put like different mod parts in it. Um, same idea, but you could have like different mods. So say uh, say you have a thruster, um, 
for an SV and you put in a mod and it increases the thruster uh, efficiency by 10% or increases the thruster output by 10% and then say you find a better quality mod and it does it by 20% or 25% and then you find an elite one and it does it by 50% but these mods could not be added in by a builder so when you when you download something from the workshop you'll have the mod slots but you have to get the mods in game by rating POIs or whatever um, even maybe building low tier ones but um, you'd want to have those elite rare finds out there like you're playing a Diablo game or something um, to really get you excited and you could do that with so many things with with the uh, <clears throat> with the weapons as well I mean you could put in a mod and uh, say a cannon turret and it uh, increases its damage or increases its range or increases its uh, firing speed or or maybe even have a uh, better quality cannon that you can find that has more than one mod slot in it. I mean, uh, but it would, uh, in my opinion, add a lot more, especially to the long haul of the game. I mean, I mean, early on it's great, but once you get to the, you know, your your level cap and you got your really cool stuff, you need you need more. You need more to keep on building up, and that's what as soon as you're like maxed out on like really building up, or um, that's when the game uh, that's when you lose interest, and that's when you're like, well, either I stop playing this or build something or I uh, move on to something else. But if you have that solid backbone where there's always always more to do, always more to find, always better loot to get, um, and I think mods would be a really easy way to do it because first, you won't have to create a whole lot of new models. In fact, you probably wouldn't need to make any models, just maybe some icons. Um, you could have hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of mods for all kinds of different things. Um, and you could have rare ones and normal ones and elite ones and, and stuff like that all over the place. And, you know, personally, the, the way I would like to see it too, the further you go out from your starting planet in the game, the more difficult stuff you get into. And then that's where you'd find your rare, rare, rarer or elite parts or things like that and it's just just some wacky idea i was thinking about for a while and i just thought i'd kind of say something about that to see if any of you guys think something like that would be cool um and i kind of look at it as in like on the dev side i think it would be pretty easy to implement something like that um where they don't have to like you know make a bunch of new models and textures and all kinds of stuff to support that they literally it's kind of like a database in the game that um when you find parts it assigns these you know the the, the mod things to an icon something you can put in your inventory something you could place into mod slots on all kinds of different parts um things you use to to build so essentially like you, you could take an sv that the, a tier one sv that totally sucks um, <laughs> totally sucks. Well, most of them do. I mean, in comparison, you know. Um, <clears throat> but you could, like, throw in a mod into the thrusters where the thruster output is more, but it's not using more power, um, and it's not increasing your tier. It's just making the thing better, you know. And then, you know, if you had your super, super capital ship and it's a gas guzzling, you know, hog, um, you could, uh, you know, put in some uh, efficiency mods into the thrusters or other parts or things like that or you know you could even mod the warp core you could you, you could put in a mod to increase the distance of, of how far the warp core goes or maybe it uses less pentaxid or I mean it's just there's so many possibilities with that and it's really just all data and some icons and not like physical things that you actually see and are touching in the game um, which I just think would add a lot of depth to the game. Just just an idea. Just curious on your thoughts. It's uh, an idea I might uh, try to pitch to the devs as well on something they could uh, possibly look at in the future. I mean, I know they've got their own agenda and their um, and what they're working on, but uh, I just think something like that would be uh, really really cool. Where you get play the game for your three four hundred hours into the game and you're 
oh my god, I, I found this super elite uh, blah 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 that I really need for my thing, and, and you're all excited that you found this this rare piece of loot, and it makes it fun and rewarding, and and it's not something that you can download off the workshop. Something I can't put mods into any creation that gets released to the workshop. But it's basically if you spawn it in, you can start plugging in mods to it, but it lives and dies in your game, and you can't like take that on to other games. Um, anyway, that's about it for me today, and I will shut up. And you guys have yourself a good day. I'll probably have another video Wednesday with a bunch of updates and things. All right, well, y'all have a good day. See you later.